Funiculum vulgare, otherwise known as fennel. I love ingesting fennel. Fennel is actually like 13 times sweeter than sugar. And it doesn't give you the blood sugar increase and the insulin spike from ingesting it. So fennel oil is a great oil to ingest, especially if you're somebody that is working on decreasing your sugar intake, which is a great idea for all of us. Anyway, today is the science of ingesting essential oils. I hope you found value in the previous video, which was the science of diffusing. As a matter of fact, I'm going to put this on right now. Turn my diffuser on. And today's going to be equally as impactful, if not more, because ingesting oils is absolutely one of my favorite ways to use them. I ingest probably 15 different oils daily and have been doing this for years. But today we're going to talk about the benefits and the science of ingesting. So first of all, we're going to go through the top eight reasons to ingest. Number one, supports respiratory health. Number two, supports your immune system. Number three, reduces the oxidation load of your body because when we ingest oils, we are ingesting powerful antioxidants. We ingest essential oils, number four, to aid in digestion. Number five, to support our gut health, gut flora, and to ease occasional indigestion and stomach discomfort. Number six, supports our cardiovascular system, which is critically important. Number seven, calms the nervous system, which as you know, I'm a chiropractor, so anything that we can do to support cortisol levels, support the calming of our nervous system is incredibly powerful. And lastly, number eight, we ingest oils for internal cleansing. So I understand that there may be some controversy out there in internet land about ingesting oils. However, when you look at the science, when you read the literature, there is zero controversy at all. Ingesting oils, authentic oils, is very, very safe and very beneficial. We're gonna go through three powerful studies right now about the science of ingesting. So the first study I wanna talk about was published in 2019 from Neural Regeneration Research Journal. And this looked at ingesting certain oils for memory and cognition, specifically in older patients who have been suffering cognitive and mental decline for many, many years. And these people may be in memory care centers as well. So what oils can we use and ingest to support memory and cognition and to slow down the decline in older folks and in people who are suffering from cognitive decline. So the first thing I want to mention is acetylcholine is a neurotransmitter that our brain produces and acetylcholine is critical for memory and cognition. However, when we look at people who suffer from memory deficits and memory and cognition decline, we see cholinergic deficits when we run labs on them. And when we see cholinergic deficits, that means that many, many times their memory and their cognition is going down. It's getting worse over time. And so we want to do everything that we can to support that, to stop that from happening, to slow down that process. And one of the things that they found in this study is that when we're ingesting oils, specifically from the mint family, so we look at rosemary, peppermint, and mostly oils that have terpenes and terpenoids in them. And I'm going to read this directly from the study. It says, cognitive stimulation with essential oils can delay development of cognitive decline and improve the quality of life in patients. So think of the condition where people are losing their memory. And essential oils, like I said, in topical and ingesting essential oils can produce this result. This is directly from the 2019 study that was published. And so when we are looking at cognitive decline, mental health, you have family members, you have people in your life that are having a challenge with this, then one of the best things that they can do is to start ingesting oils from the mint family. And like I said, the top two oils here are rosemary and peppermint. So these are the two oils to start ingesting because they stimulate cognition, they stimulate memory, they stimulate acetylcholine. And those are the things that we desire when we're wanting to delay and slow down the 
decline of memory or cognition. Powerful stuff. And one of the reasons why this is so effective is because when we ingest essential oils locally, a lot of the oil is absorbed directly into the bloodstream when we ingest them and are delivered systemically throughout the body. And a lot of these terpenes and terpenoid molecules, they're able to cross the blood-brain barrier. They're able to get into the nervous system, into the spinal canal, and have very powerful beneficial results to our brain chemistry and to our nervous system. So this is, again, why ingesting oils is very, very effective because of the speed, how rapid these molecules cross the blood-brain barrier and get into our spinal canal and brain chemistry. Now, the second study is a little bit older. It was December 2009 regarding dysbiosis of our gut. So when we have problems with the gut flora, bacteria, candida, things like that that are causing problems with our gut, this study looked at essential oils, ingesting them, and how it affects the gut flora and how that benefits the health of our digestive system. And this study was published in... Alternative Medicine Review in the Journal of Clinical Therapeutics. And what they found here, and this is why I just ingested fennel in the beginning. I love fennel. I love ingesting it a couple times a week minimum. But what it showed is the study showed little to no detrimental impact on GI gastrointestinal flora while showing a promising treatment for intestinal dis biosis and what they found here is essential oils like fennel caraway lavender and orange are very effective against dysbiosis of the gut however what they also noted in the study was that when we ingest certain oils and again ingesting oils is one of the fastest way to get them directly to your stomach to your digestive tract and so we can do it directly in the mouth or you can put it in a veggie cap swallow the capsule put in water swallow the water there's many many ways that we can do this to ingest oils but one thing that was noted in the study it had zero effect on destroying the flora or the bacteria in our gut that is required for gut health so it had no detrimental effect at all on that however for the bacteria and the other things that are in our gut that can cause problems it was very effective against those things. So ingesting oils for digestive health for the gastrointestinal tract is very, very effective. So again, another reason we love ingesting oils to support that system of our body. And now the last study looked at the health of our mucosal lining and how the mucosal lining of our mouth, of our nasal cavity, of our esophagus, how that is impacted from ingesting oils because there's a myth out there that says when you ingest oils you can damage the mucosal lining and you can cause many many problems long term however that is just not true based on this study they found that our mucosal lining is constantly producing mucus so when we ingest oils and they are traveling down into our stomach our mucosal lining because of the production of mucus, is constantly diluting the oil and also protecting this, the mucus membranes from being damaged at all. And what they found is that when we ingest oils, again, like I said earlier, locally, right in that area, the oils can be absorbed directly into the bloodstream, delivered systemically throughout our body, and then the rest of the oils travel down and support our stomach, our GI tract, and that system so ingesting oils is very, very safe for our mucosal lining. And if you've ever ingested, like put peppermint in your mouth or rosemary in your mouth or spearmint in some of these oils that are from the mint family, immediately your airways clear, your sinuses open up because one of the things it supports healthy inflammation of our mucosal lining. So that if we're congested, if we're stuffy, if we have difficulty breathing at all, you ingest an oil from the mint family and it's very effective for opening up the airways. It's kind of like wasabi on steroids. It's very, very powerful. And you can breathe for like the first time in a really long time. You've never breathed better or more clear than after you put one of these mint oils in your mouth. So if you've never done that before, I very much recommend and suggest you doing that. We do it throughout the day in the car when I'm traveling or I'm driving on the airplane. We do it all the time because clear breathing just feels really good, but it's very effective. You breathe in more oxygen, you're not congested, you don't have stuff you nose, and it's amazing. So I encourage you to start ingesting oils that way, especially oils from the mint family for clear breathing. So that's really it, you guys. That was three studies that we looked at on the science of ingesting and also the eight reasons why we ingest. So I hope you found value in this. If you have any comments, any questions at all, please 
let us know. And if you are against ingesting or you've been trained in a way that they say never ingest oils, I would like to begin that conversation as well because it's just not true, especially with authentic oils. Now, if we're talking synthetic oils, like the oils that you find at the health food store, at the big box stores, even like you can find essential oils sometimes at gas stations, now I've seen them, and those are all synthetic. They're very adulterated. They're not real oils, so we can't call them authentic. And you would never want to ingest those oils because synthetic molecules, ingesting synthetic molecules can and will damage your body. So you never want to do that. You wanna make sure that the oils that you're using are authentic, that have been tested many, many different ways, and the chemistry is there, the purity, the potency, everything is there so we get very predictable results. And that's one of the reasons why we use the oils that we do because we know that is true and we don't have to question the authenticity of our oils. So I hope this, I hope you find value here, you guys. I hope you love this. Uh, let us know in the comments again. We love you. Have a wonderful day. We'll talk to you soon. All right, P.S. Quick disclaimer, not every oil is meant to be ingested. For example, fennel, as you can see, has a food nutrition label on the bottle, meaning that that is an oil that is safe to ingest. If there's a food nutrition label on the bottle, you can ingest that oil. However, like wintergreen does not have a food nutrition label on it. That does not mean this is not an authentic oil. This is an absolutely authentic oil tested over 76 different ways before it was ever put in the bottle for purity and potency. However, it does not have a food label because wintergreen is not an oil that is meant to be ingested. So just be careful when you're ingesting oils, make sure that there is a food nutrition label supplement facts on the bottle and that will let you know that that is an oil that is meant to be ingested. All right, Mo, have a wonderful day. See ya.